Alright guys, Gourley here with Game with Gourley, and we are going to be playing some Electronic Super Joy. Uh, the first things first is, I already went and played this for a few minutes last night and tested it out just to see how it was. And with testing I decided to put PG mode on. Um, just kinda, kinda, It kind of fits with the style of um, the channel that I'm doing so far. I'm not really doing too much foul language or anything like that. Um, so it's just something that I wanted to turn on right away. So here it is. You lost an arm. In the Disco Wars of 1515, you lost an eye. In the War of Rock and Roll, you lost both legs. Defeating DJ Deadly Skills. And you lost your entire butt to an evil wizard. This is the story of your quest. To get revenge for your butt. Alright, so I'll be playing with the uh, Xbox 360 controller. It's fairly simple. Uh, moving and jumping. And that sound effect is one of the reasons that I changed. There was a um, slightly... I don't know how you want to say it. Um, risque sound to that. Oh. So, we can hit Y for a quick spawn, we'll find that out later. Um, I found that out fairly early when I just, just mashed the buttons to see what everything did. Oh. I swear at one point I was better at this game last night for the 10-15 minutes I tried it or whatever it was. It was probably actually longer than that because this game uh, is really fun. And uh, so... What may seem like 15 minutes is probably closer to... Okay, so hit B, and that's what B will do. Um, actually, parts of this game, which doesn't really happen a whole lot, is there was so much going on, on the screen that I couldn't really comprehend everything that was happening. Um, so all these people are kind of... Just tell me go for it. Some people I don't think want me to. I'm going to turn this down for a quick second in my ear. It has a really good soundtrack in this game, um, so it adds to the environment that is continually building. It's something that's always changing. I'm going to turn it back up just one notch. There we go. Uh, so each flag is a checkpoint, so if you die, you go back to that. So it's not really a whole huge loss. Uh, and right now, there's quite a few checkpoints. Uh, I, it seems like most levels are kind of like that. Um, but there's just some points in each level that are pretty difficult, at least uh, was to me. And hopefully we'll get to a point tonight where I'll actually be able to show that off. Remember I did have some issues with that guy the first time. Because I was doing what I was doing before. I was getting right underneath him and then just kind of stuck. Uh, I believe this was the first thing that really threw off my senses the first time that I jumped is... Uh, I wasn't used to seeing that thing spin around, so it really threw me off. Oh! I want to scratch my face. This is one of the things that... Always just keep going. Dang it! What's good about this game is... Um, there's levels like this, and then they'll throw other things in your... Uh, senses to just throw you off even more. Um, it has such a good sound. Dang it! It has a good soundtrack. And so, you're folk. <sighs> you're listening to that while you're trying to play a game and enjoy both things at once. Um, and then the lights are constantly changing. Oh, this got me at first. So, there's a lot of things happening in this game. Um, so, I'm going to try and keep talking and keep up with what's going on. Let's see if I can get... I don't know what that thing is. To me, it looks like a snake. Oh, no. Go. At least get that. All right, and this is like a mini jump, those arrows. No, no. Die. Oh, no, I wasn't supposed to go for that. Sometimes I forget what I was going for. Uh, quick... Press Y to quick respawn. Okay. Skip that small jump, hit this one, and then I think we're almost, are we almost at the end of this one? I don't remember. Get all the way over here. There we go. 
Uh, dang it. These jumps will keep your momentum. Uh, so a few of them I kind of jumped off the edge because I would be holding the way that I was jumping. Dang it. And it would get me. Alright, so I gotta get ahead of the ball game. That one. Alright, uh, this is still fairly early in the game. Crazier things happen. A lot crazier. No! Dang it! <laughs> and it gets a lot harder. So, let's try and get past the... Dang it! Um, when I originally bought this game, I thought, oh, this game would be a great game to try and do a Let's Play of. Uh, even though I don't really... I don't really know a whole lot about the game, I just... That's gonna kick me in the teeth. I just recently purchased it last week, so I contacted the game developer and I, I just asked him, what do you think of Let's Play? And, uh, sorry. And he said he was fine with it. Go for it. So, here we go. And, um, dang it! See, that's what I mean. Holding the, I was holding the right, so it kind of threw me off. I guess you could use that to your advantage if you were good. So here we are playing it, and trying not to do too awful. Even though really these type of games I used to be fairly decent at, uh, but now the trend seems to be uh, do let's play and do awful. All right, so these walls are sticky and gross. I don't know if it's supposed to be slime, snot, or vomit. I'm just guessing snot. Okay. Oh yeah, if you are prone to seizures, just turn this video off, please. Because stuff like this happens. And this game just reams your senses, it seems like. But it's great, it's fun. Uh, where do I go? I know there's one point where all you can see is your guys' eyes. Where you need to be. And on some of these levels, you can get a little bit ahead. Uh, but most of them you can't. Just like if you fall behind, you die. Oh no! I forgot about that. This one you gotta look alive on. If not, you die. It's one of those things that you have to use the holding right to your advantage. Oh jeez, there we go. Um, dang it! There's no way I'm doing a death counter for this game. For some games, I'm, I might. Um, not this game. Some games you probably don't try this much! Oh. Alright, I'm, I'm using quick respawn. Um, so when I contacted the developer, I I had stated that I wanted to do, like, play this um, because it sounded like it had great music, which it does. It looked like it would be, dang it, fairly difficult game, um, and not just one that would easily be able to walk through and, and kind of do, because I like a challenge. Um, to me, there's kind of not a real reason to... I uh, just kind of simply blaze through a game. I don't know if I've never played it before. I've played other games like that, and any game that is just an easy beat for me uh, on the first playthrough is really depressing. And I feel like I was, you know, basically had money stolen from me. Uh, this is not the case. I feel like just after the these two, well, just after last night that I knew for sure, dang it, that I was going to be able to get my money out of this game. Um, I think it was seven bucks on Steam. Uh, I'll make sure to link that for in the comments um, so you guys can pick it up if you'd like or at least check it out. Oh, good. 
And if you like the game, then you'd be able to purchase it also. Oh yeah, this this is fun. Dang it. Oh. Um, I think it's worth the money though. A few bucks for a lot of fun. It's definitely worth it. Oh no. Oh. oh, I gotta do that all over again. I'll get through this at one point. Alright. Oh no! I tried to do the, the hang behind that time. Oh no. What just happened? Oh, it shot me ahead. No. Please, don't do that. I got really thrown off when it threw me ahead so far. But I know at least that's one of the spots that you can skip ahead if you can beat it. <laughs> oh, man. I swear I didn't do this bad last night. Dang it! Why do I keep doing that? Oh well, enjoy the music for a second. For a second, I mean, apparently forever. No. Alright. Skip ahead. No, no! Dang it! I'm starting to think that safe for work option is useless. This keeps up. Hitting me! Nope. I thought I made it. Okay, we get this. Okay, so what's the deal here? Got it! Oh no! Lasers, don't die. These uh these jumps remind me a lot of the old Mario, how there's just like the small jump for you to hit. You gotta try and get it. Let's see what these tell us. Oh no! Missiles, you can smash missiles with B, jump and smash. Okay, so just like all every other monster, except for their homing missiles. Bye. Okay, so this one's going to move a lot slower than the last one. For a second. Let's get going. I don't know what that thing is. Ah! And I jumped into it. Nope. So much timing that needs to be done. I think this game would be easier if I was... Don't go down there, man. If I was better... Oh, okay. If I was better at, like, music and keeping a tempo on the beat. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay. So this is where stuff's going to get really hairy. Stuff like that. Dang it! Okay. This should be much easier than the 
mess that I went through a few minutes ago where I couldn't time a jump to save my life, literally. Alright, killing everything. I have no idea if that's... Oh, it did give it to me. Cool. I killed it! No, don't do the same thing. Jump! Oh man. My senses are really getting thrown off here. No! Oh! How did I miss all three of those? All three. Oh! At least I hit one that time. Can I just walk off the edge? Oh, I can. It's much easier than actually jumping. Got it. Oh, I can super jump. Okay. Stand there. Where am I? Okay. Um, I'm not going to go to the main menu. Well, let's just end the episode here, guys. I thank you for watching. This has been Gorley, Gaming with Gorley, and we're playing Electronic Super Jump. Uh, these missiles are going to home in on me a little bit a little bit more until they finally make the full circle um, so I'll just cut the episode here and that is episode 1 of Electronic Super Joy I plan on playing much more of this um, if I get too horrible at it then I'll just have to quit but I hope to actually try and beat this game so thanks for watching guys